Hi traders, I just made over $2,000 day trading stocks in less than one hour. Let me show you how. DRI is up 10%. I like this reversal point. I want to go long if it moves over 102.70 now. Just did. Bit spready. I'm long 1,000 shares. There's several reasons to that. That's relatively small size for me, but I know it's a bit spready and there's a one and a half dollar stop loss here. But if it moves over 103, which is now, I want to add because I think we may see a new high real soon. About to add, adding now another 1,000 shares. I'm taking a big risk here. 2,000 shares. The highs is 103.55, but I think there's a very good chance it's going to go through. Like uh, AOBC for short, stock is down 9%. This uh, $12 mark looks interesting. I'm short. Just shorted AOBC. Hope it's going to come down now. AOBC did move down, but not enough. Um, I was looking for 25 cents approximately. It did approximately 20. So it was very close to my target. But it's still downtrending, so I guess there's a good chance we're going to see it continuing moving lower. So, so far, AOBC is doing fine. A little bit worried about this pullback here. I don't want to see it over 12. I think if it's going, if it's going to go over 12, watch the sellers here. You don't want to see the sellers moving over 12. Here's the sellers here. Here's 12. Good. Whole number. Oh, it's over. Oh, oh look at that. Terrible. Okay, guys. Never, ever move out on a spike. I don't know how many times I've said that in the trading room. You don't move out on a spike. You always wait for a pullback. Now, this pullback, which you're seeing now, could take it all the way down to the lows. Or if we're going to move over this recent high, then we, we, we must have a stop. So wait for the pullback. This was a 20 or more cent pullback here. But it looks to me like it has a chance to move over the highs. Uh, so 1223 should be the stop point. Again, wait for a technical pullback. We do have a technical pullback. Now I can use a stop. In fact, I'm going to use a hard stop here. And I just don't want to remain short in case it moves all the way back to the recent highs. That's 1223. Clicking the buy button, I have a stop order in the system. So it may return to the lows, but just in case it makes a decision to move over the recent high, I don't want to be there. And sadly, it's getting close. It is getting close. Okay. <laughs> My stop loss was activated. I have a loser in AOBC. Look at that spike. Again, never move out on, this, on the first spike. Second one, you should be stopped. DRI, as you can see, did not go through, but I want to add. The stock came down several times, found buyers, moved back to the highs. I'm adding another 1,000 shares here. So as you can see, the buyers are getting more and more aggressive. Look at the higher, high, higher lows here. So the buyers are getting more and more aggressive. The highs is 103.55, and I'm, again, taking a big risk. But the thing is, the stock kind of talked talks to me and says, I want to go through. So really, watch the stock, watch the buyers becoming more and more aggressive. It should go over the highs. It did not yet go through the highs. Watch the 103 level, which just recently became a, became a resistance point. And I'm a little bit worried about the 103. Here we go, 103. Once it moves over 103, it should run this whole number issues always uh, kind of stop the stocks so I have 3,000 shares and I really want to see DRI moving over 103 that should be the trigger point I may be even thinking about adding over 103 just that I think it may be a little bit too fast oh look at it goes now here's <laughs> oh more than a point one and a half point amazing amazing that's exactly what I what I was anticipating, and that was the trade I was looking for. That exactly was the trade I was looking for, but I think I missed my partial point here. I just wasn't fast enough. Oh, in fact, I was waiting for a new high, really. That's a pullback. Now I have to go through this pullback. DRI just returned to a new high. 
I took my chance waiting for a pullback, but I'm getting a little bit worried here. I think I should find a way out now. It's too risky with 3,000 shares. I'm getting ready to sell now. Just sold 2,700 shares. I'm not sure I've done the right thing because it looks like it may continue. Well, anyway, got some money in my pocket. That was a great trade. So I have a one loser in AOBC, 1,000 shares, and a great $3,600 winner in DRI. Altogether up $2,600. So that's not bad for 27 minutes. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.